We've all probably wondered at one point how the world could end, but I bet not as much as Jay Bear Shell has. The dinosaurs got wiped out in the last mass extinction, which happened because of a huge asteroid impact. Could we go out the same way? I mean, there are craters everywhere. Just look at the moon. <laughs> That's a clip from Jay's new show called We're All Gonna Die, even Jay Baruchel. And Jay is with us in studio, very much alive this morning. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> or at least a version of alive. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I thought of when I looked at the screen and watched the show was, what are you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know this is a fascination of yours, yeah. uh, but why would you want to spend so much time researching how we could all be wiped out? Oh, man. Um, because, I, I don't know, it's... I wish I had a good answer other than I've just always kind of been interested in the stuff that's meant to be scary or stuff that we should be concerned about. I don't know. There's probably some degree of kind of unpacking it, processing it, um, putting myself at ease with it. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. There's, um, I'll just, I'll put it this way. Okay. As of late, I feel like there's been plenty of reasons to wonder about this yes. stuff. <laughs> and so it seems a kind of, uh, yeah, it seems a, a natural place to get to, to try to, yeah, try to, try to unpack it in some detail. And to explain the concept a little more to people. So you take different ideas like asteroids yeah. or, you know, a nuclear bomb, and you go through each of the scenarios and, and what they would do to yeah. the Earth. And S I'm not going to lie, the episodes, some of them can be a little bit like, even you sometimes in the episodes are like, yeah. Eh. No, there's some huge bummers. Yeah, yeah. there really are. <laughs> yeah. But you bring some great humor to it, as you Thanks. always do. Thanks. Uh, how did you feel at the end of them, after exploring all of this? Yeah, um, it's weird. I, um, I, I felt sort of, um, for, for me, the biggest takeaway, well, because I don't want to just say a version of the same, which was, scared but also hopeful and there is that to to some degree but for me the biggest thing was that this kind of like um clarity and mm -hmm. uh and, a, and an increased sense of responsibility mm -hmm. um i i i think that um and maybe this is just me but a product of the kind of era we live in where we're sort of inundated with data a lot of it very uh, negative, yeah. uh, um, is I can sometimes just uh, put blinders on and, and tune out to a degree with, with you know, because I don't really quite know what to do with it. And, and also, there was stuff that I naively thought we were kind of beyond. Like, I had sort of, for some reason, nobody told me this, but I assume we were in some version of, like, a post-nuclear age. And right. We very much or not. And so, so yeah, I don't know. I felt a sort of a bigger sense of obligation to do whatever I can, whatever that is. Um, and, and a sort of like shine a light on some stuff that was like, oh, there's even more stuff to be scared of than I thought. You do it in such a creative way. And I had forgotten that you used to host Popular Mechanics oh, yeah. for Kids. <laughs> and as soon as you said that, you did it with Alicia Cuthbert. Yeah. And as soon as you said that, I thought, oh, this is like a deeper, darker version of that, where you talk yeah. to the experts and they walk you through things you were curious about yeah, it's PMK, um, but during a midlife crisis, I assume, <laughs> yeah. Is that what it looks like? Yeah, basically, <laughs> okay. basically yeah. Uh, in our last few seconds, of all of these scenarios, you know, we looked at asteroid impact, nuclear catastrophe, pandemic, alien invasion, yeah. you didn't really leave anything out. Which one are you the most worried about? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, uh, pr probably nuclear, uh, nuclear war. Because it seemed the most likely? Yeah, I mean, there's just like... It's probably best to live in a world with none. Um, certainly we should try to live in a world with less. Either way, there's like a bunch of places that have them. And uh, so I would argue one is too many, let alone however many hundreds of these things are on in, in, across the planet. So, you know. I love the show. I, and at first I gotta tell you, I was like, what are you thinking? This is a bummer, but it's fascinating. <laughs> you get hooked by you found these fascinating, interesting experts. Cool. So we're glad that you are alive and well and here to tell us how we're all gonna die. Thank you, always. <laughs> it's called We're All Gonna Die, even Jay Baruchel, and it is streaming on Crave now. Thanks, Jay. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.